now, like women's boxing has just took off. Like, and since since it got into the Olympics, people are just taking it serious now. And like when you, when you see some of the elite girls, like Katie Taylor, Natasha Jonas, boxing, they'll be they're just as good as any lad. Do you know what I mean? If not better, better than most lads. That was my main thing. I thought if I'm gonna fight, I don't want to be fighting like a girl. I want to fight and look as good as what the lads look. I was a bit embarrassed about it because I didn't like I didn't want any of my lad mates to know and like I didn't really want because I've got three older brothers as well and it was a bit like I didn't want them to think she can't fight you know what I mean sort of thing like that but I knew when I started training that it weren't easy and like my brothers used to tease me about it didn't they and and like say oh you think you're hard now because you go to boxing and stuff like that and I was just like and they, they go to the gym and I was just like listen my training is a million times harder than anything you're doing in the gym. It was a club where it was just it was actually called first class ABC for girls and then the ADA intervened, that's the national government body, and said, you know, you can't call it for girls because it's it, excluding lads. Although, like, a lot of gyms, girls aren't welcome. So it's all right in one sense, but because it said for girls, they got a bit of a, a cob on about it. But if you're a lad, you can come and train and you can fight, and it, it's totally like unisex there, but it was originally for women. The first person to go out and fight was a girl. And when I went in the gym and I seen her picture on the wall and I seen a gold medal around her neck, and I was just like, I want some of that. I want one of them, them medals. I want my picture in the paper and I want to be there. So that was like my main, my main drive. And I, was, I knew I weren't going to leave that gym until I had that, the same. And then all my pictures up on the wall with my medal. <laughs> well, I didn't realise she meant that type of box and I thought she was just gonna go and keep fit and do keep boxing because she does that many things anyway and I just thought oh it's one of these things she wants to do and the words I said to her was why do you want to do that when you're already fit you know you do enough exercise with dancing and all things like that you know and she said no I just want to go to the gym and, and off she goes like and I thought not of it until we were talking a couple of weeks later and I found out it was gonna be as I call it the proper boxing I don't know the real name but I call it proper boxing and then I was get worried. But we've always had an interest in boxing because my dad was a bit of amateur boxer in his day. And he, he like, when I can remember staying up watching Mama's Alley at three o'clock in the morning, whatever time it was one time, we were watching it. And um, I passed that on to mine, watching it. Anytime there was boxing on, big mat, big boxer matches, I used to like watching them, like, big fights. But Kaylee doing it, it was really, a shock and uh, I'm so proud of what she's achieved like in the past two years. She's just achieved so much, so many titles. Kaylee does a lot of her own training through uni. Uh, she does a lot of running herself. So the work I mainly spend in here, some of it's fitness, some of it's strength, but a lot of it's technique and a lot of it's uh, tactics at the moment. She's, you know, she's good enough to fight anyway, so she looks after her fitness and I'll look after the boxing side.
I think it's great, you know. I opened this gym a few months before the announcement of the Olympics. Four girls, and in my ass, and in my head. I believed in Lord Co, and I knew we'd bring it on, you know, and it's like, I've lived off that dream ever since. I've always said to the girls, I want to try and get someone to the Olympics, and I feel like it's going to be a girl. The pool of fighters for lads, it's so hard for lads. But I'm not giving up on ever taking the lads to the Olympics. We've got a few good kids going now. But with girls, I feel like we're, we're up there in terms of quality, um, in terms of skill and heart. Yeah, and we'll see what happens, like you say. Now when I think about it, I, I wish, like my school would have said to me, you know, you've got the attributes to be an athlete, like you, you talk, because I've always been tall. And um, like I was a size 8 shoe when I was 11 when I went into senior school and I'm only a size 9 now so you can imagine how tall I was when I was 11. And like I wish they would have said, not just not just said to me oh oh we've got a netball team and that was the only option really. I don't know now looking, because I've been to Sheffield and I've seen like the early team and what they've got there, I probably could have put me on to, to most sports because I don't know if, if I can see if I can see a, an achievement or I can, I can I know I can achieve in something, I'll do it, and then I'll always I'll I'll go at it full power. I got it into boxing it must have been up two years ago. She said she wants to keep fit, so I said to her, I got in touch with another female boxer, and she said, what. Well, which you want to go for? Do you want to keep fit or do you want to box and that? And she said, I want to do both. So I got in touch with Mark, the coach, and she said, have a go. And then all of a sudden it's kicked off from there. So I'm very happy with the way it's going. So all of a sudden, hope, fingers crossed, get there in the end. As soon as I'd say that, oh yeah, my girlfriend's a boxer and stuff, she goes, ah, I bet you get beat up by her and all that. But, but that's there, the one thing, but you just say, oh no. And then especially when you say she's six foot one. <laughs> so I've done that on that one for me because I'm only five foot nine. So <laughs> I must probably get the perception of people, oh, I must get battered in the, but when I get back in, you best have your money there for her, your wages <laughs> in for her and stuff. So I can't go out for a pint or anything now. <laughs> but how people say. <laughs> so. But sometimes when we're out and we're with, we're with some of our other mates, they just say, oh, you're bullied you, aren't you? And all this to them. And, and he, he just laughs it off, but um, he does have to take some stick, like, and because I'm like about, I don't know, a good six inch t inches taller than him, he has to, um, he has to just take it. <laughs> it's like you look on at most gyms now; they've got at least one girl in. So, and it's the Olympics that's done it. Do you know what I mean? It's like there's three weight divisions: 51 of the small. 60, which is the most popular weight, that's lightweight, and then 75 kilo, which is light heavy for a girl. It's only middleweight for a lad, but it's light heavy for a girl. And the three goes weights, they're, they're the best weight divisions. Oh, I'm so anxious, you want to get in the ring with them. You know, because that's your baby. She, you know, she's six foot odd, she's still my baby. And um, this makes you proud, but very, very anxious. You really... And she said, Please, Mum, when we go, don't shout, will you? I said, no, I won't shout at all. But when you see other people shouting for their side, and there was only a couple of the first fight, there was only a couple of us scousers were there, a handful of us, and you couldn't help but shout. And by the end of the fight, me and my sister were both standing up, my sister was shouting, jabber, jabber. You know, it's just, you get into it, it's just your baby, and you can't help support them, you know. It's a lot of discipline. It's like it's changed how it's changed how I would do things. I think like now I feel I can do anything because the the nerves and the feelings and the emotion that you'd have to go through to have a fight is like it just so far from anything else that to do anything else is like easy. Like in uni we have to do presentations and stuff and compared to a fight, like the nerves are just not there. The the fundamental principles are pretty much the same, you know, boxing is the same as it has been for many years. But now that sports science is having a bit of an input, 
know, it is adapting slightly, you know, the traditional boxing uh, gyms that use traditional, you know, training are maybe taking a bit more of the strength and conditioning support on board. So I think uh, anything that we can offer Kaylee is obviously going to be beneficial, so hopefully it will have, have a, a positive effect on her performance. That's the key thing that at the start of the year when we're giving these athletes we uh, we have to conduct a needs analysis and obviously you know Kaylee's very specific and different to any other athlete that I might have so all the training that we do is designed to get the, the best out of her and is designed specifically for her so we don't want to put any weight on her she's ideally she's at a peak condition physically so we're just uh, trying to improve her uh, power and her strength without putting on too much mass. So all the training is designed with that focus in mind. I really wanted to get what she wants to get to the Olympic really, that's what she really wants to do. And it's a very, like it's a slim chance, you know. And like with her age, I suppose you've only got like a window in which to fit that in. That would be a dream come true for me that I get all, all, all her family and all my family will go down to London and we'll have a party when she wins it, definitely. This year, if we won a gold medal, Liverpool, happiest city in the world, trust me. It'll happen to anyone, even if it's like Hartlepool or Darlington or, you know, London, you know, whoever wins it. Good luck at the game. It started to, it started to dawn on me that like, Women, I started looking to, to the internet and looking at women's boxing and looking at who was at my weight and um, I started realising that it was it was actually big, you know, around the, like this amateur boxing was for, for girls was big. Then I found out that they were trying, they were bidden to try and get it into the Olympics for 2012 and I was just like, you know, thinking that I could actually go here, I, I could be part of this. Like when I was a kid I used to watch watch the Olympics. I, I love athletics and I used to watch it all the time and I used to think to myself, oh, I'd love to be there, I'd love to go to the Olympics or I'd love to be in like the World Championships athletics. And then I'm I'm sitting here thinking, I've actually picked a sport that that could possibly go to the Olympics and and I started to think, right, well I'm just gonna carry on with it and, and, and try and be the, be the best and for me, so you have to fight for everything that you want, don't you?